Hello and welcome to the Tigrid Pup channel. In this video, I will be doing a review of the Marlow Beauty's Malika Mannequin Head. If this interests you, then please keep watching. Okay, so right here I'm just showing you the website for Marlo Beauty. Um, this is how much I paid for my uh, mannequin, Malika. Uh, she's $44.19. Here is her uh, close-up um, picture. And here is the purchase price along with her SKU numbers. So if you wanted to make a purchase, you could. And here is her dimensions. As we can see, it says she's 17 to 19 inches long. Her hair is a level two black hair, 100% human hair, great for all processes, and is budget friendly. Okay, so up next, you can see her specs here. It's pretty much the same thing. Okay, so I'm gonna do an unboxing here. I bought a couple of other items. Uh, for Marlowe Beauty because uh, I think they have a limit like $99 or something before you can get free shipping and plus I needed some other things which um, uh, yeah we're just going to take a look and see what we got here and we're going to go into our unboxing of the mannequin head and the actual demonstration so just keep stay tuned okay so the first item that I got here is some processing caps from Dane or Diane uh, it's the name of the company. Uh, I made a purchase of that. I got a box of uh, nit nitrile gloves, which are in the color black for a hundred per box, because uh, I needed some processing gloves and caps. Okay, so I have uh, the Diane heated gel cap, and I'm gonna do a review. That's gonna be coming pretty soon, so keep an eye out for that. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, so I got my Super Blue. I already told you if you uh, ever watch my videos, you know that I really like the L'Oreal Super Blue for lightening um, my wig hair and stuff like that. Okay, and so it looks like finally we have our mannequin, Malika. And this is the box she comes in. And uh, we're going to take a look at, for, at her for this video in particular. Okay, so just giving you a 360 of the box here. Um, yeah, so we're just taking a look at the box. I'm going to take out the box and we're going to take and do a couple of, um, of things to kind of like give her hair, um, you know, try it out and see if this mannequin would be uh, perfect for just a regular person that wanted to have a mannequin to practice on. So here's a 360 of her out of the box. You can see what her hair looks like and we're going to go on to the next step. Okay, so we're just going to measure our hair and see if it's really 19, I'm oh, sorry, 17 to 19 inches. Um, right here, I'm just showing you, um, it barely can make the 12 inch range, but I think uh, throughout her entire head, it was between what, seven and nine or 10 inches, like where the meat begins. I don't know if you can see that, but I mean, it barely scrapes seven, uh, 12 inches. So uh, just taking a look at uh, the different lengths. I mean, it varies throughout the entire head, but I mean, it's no longer than this this particular ruler which a ruler is 12 inches okay so right here I'm going to do a strand test and we're going to see how well the hair lightens uh, I typically use a volume 20 with my powder lightener and uh, we're going to give that a few minutes to uh, process 45 minutes to be exact and we're going to come back and check out the results in the meantime we're going to continue doing our test Okay, so uh, right here we're just taking a look at the hair's texture and how easy it is to comb after I've shampooed it. Uh, when I do these tests, I do only a shampoo, no conditioner. Uh, in this particular case, I use Suave's uh, Clarifying Shampoo. It does have a little bit of conditioning, but not very much. But as you can see, I'm able to rick uh, the comb from the root to the ends and it's not no problem. The hair's not shedding a whole lot or anything like that. So she's passed the first test and uh, meets my approval. Okay, so up next, I'm going to cut the hair. Uh, just give a nice one length haircut. Uh, I guess I could have left a little bit longer, but uh, 
I was just trying to get the haircut done. Eventually, I think I'm going to do something different with this particular mannequin, but um, you'll just have to keep uh, posted on my videos to see what I'll do next. But as you can see here, it's very easy to comb through, even though, like I said, there's no conditioner or anything like that on the hair. It's only been shampooed and rinsed, and I did do that strand test, so that's still in the back. And you're going to see the results of that in a very few. So uh, just take a look and see what's going on with the haircut, and I'll be back for further commentary. Just a reminder, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. Okay, so right here is up time for a uh, blow dry. Uh, I usually use medium heat, and we're just trying to test and see how well it accepts heat as far as like blow drying, which is like a, I'm using a concentrator, which kind of like directs the hair in one single area, and it's turning out pretty well. I mean, um, the hair isn't breaking off. I'm not hitting any like sh sh snags that's uh, causing me to, um, snags or tangle that's causing me to yank at the head and stuff like that so the hair is, is pretty good as far as like uh, this is concerned um, so yeah we're just going to continue with this and we're going to go on to the next step Okay, so right here I'm just showing you the finished process of the blowout. As you can see, the hair is nice and full and it looks pretty good. Okay, so now that she's managed to do uh, the blowout, <clears throat> up next I'm going to do the flat iron and see how well it uh, accepts the heat. 
Uh, like I said, the only thing I've done to this hair was shampoo with a clarifying shampoo. I haven't used any thermal heating products or anything like that, detanglers, uh, conditioner, anything. This is just straight up raw hair, and we're going to see how well it accepts the heat. Does it burn off? Does it snap? Does it break? Um, or anything like that. As you can see so far, everything is coming up pretty well to say that... Um, there's no protection whatsoever on the hair. It's coming out very smooth. It doesn't look like it would look, it doesn't look the same as it did when I blowed it out. It actually does look a bit smoother and shinier. So, um, so far, I mean, everything's looking good with this particular mannequin. I'm very happy with this purchase. So, uh, we can just check out the process for flat ironing and we're going to take a final look at what that looks like after this is done. Okay, right here I'm just showing you what the blowout looked like once I finished round brushing the hair and straightening it. And up next is going to show you the difference between the blowout and the flat iron. So this is what the hair looks like after it's been flat ironed. Okay, so now that all our work is done, we're going to see that the hair that has been processed, um, as you can see, it took pretty well. Uh, it lightened pretty good and um, it's not breaking off or severely damaged or anything. The hair is still in pretty good condition. And uh, yeah, everything's looking good with this uh, particular mannequin. Okay, so right here I'm just showing you the previous mannequin I used to purchase, but it apparently is no longer available. So I had to switch over to another type. And this one I decided to try um, the Malika mannequin it. and right here I'm just showing you how much that one cost was $32.45 and um, like you saw in the beginning I was paying $44.19 for this particular one so uh, that's a price difference so uh, it's a little bit more but I mean it's the same quality as far as I'm concerned okay so right here it is the Marlo Beauty uh, Supply website um, Okay, in this particular case, I ordered the Malika mannequin, and I noticed that um, I did a previous video, it was called the Lucy mannequin. They're both pretty much the same price. I guess they're comparable with each other. I'm trying to, I'm going to try to leave a link in the description down below so you can um, check that video out if you're interested. So right here, uh, both of the mannequins are placed side by side. They have this pretty much the same uh, facial expression, structure, whatever. So right here I'm just going over the Malika mannequin. Uh, she looks nothing like the advertisement they have on the website as you can see here. Um, again, I paid $44.19 for her. It said it was 17 to 19 inches. That wasn't not really correct. Um, but the hair color was. Now moving on to the Lucy mannequin as you can see here. It's the same face and everything. Just a lighter skin tone. Again she was 44.19. She uh, claims to be 14, uh, 17 to 19 inches and she's supposed to have light brown hair. Or should I say level 4 light brown hair. Okay so as far as my thoughts are concerned I think this is a pretty good mannequin. Um, we've uh, Given her a strand test for its lightening, it came out pretty good. We did a shampoo. Her hair wasn't knotted up or tangled real bad or anything like that. I was able to rake it from the root to the ends with no problem. We did a round brush and to see how much uh, thermal heat she could take, and she did. She passed that as well. We did a flat iron, and she passed that as well. As well. And like I said before, we didn't use any conditioner or anything. It was just a clarifying shampoo, suave. Uh, clarifying shampoo to be exact which only has like a little bit of conditioning but not very much and her hair passed on all uh, 
points. So like I said before, um, I'm very satisfied with this purchase. And if you like the Lucy mannequin, you'll like the Malika. And if you like the Malika, you'll like the Lucy mannequin. Because they're pretty much the same mannequin. The only difference is one has a darker complexion with darker hair. And the other one has a lighter complexion with lighter hair. And also, they both pretty much cost the same price, which is $44.19. Unfortunately, they discontinued the mannequin that I was getting for my uh, practice uh, purchases or whatever. But, um, I mean, I guess, you know, they can't keep making the cheaper mannequin. But, um, yeah, so that's what we got going on here. Also, their faces look very much the same. Um, even though the advertisement on the website, their faces look nothing like those advertisements. So uh, I just showed you what the mannequin uh, faces look like. Like I said, um, they're pretty much the same. So it's the same mannequin. It's just whatever your preference is. So in case you were looking for a mannequin for practice, uh, hopefully this video helped you out making in making that decision. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.